Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. And um, I must confess that I recently came across a video of uh, young Pharaoh. Talking about our brother Reza Islam, um, going into his past, talking about the nation and Scientology, and let me just say, Pharaoh, because um, you know. We're striving to follow the example of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He's a man who has been vilified. He's a man who has been painted as a man who hates certain groups of people when that is absolutely not the truth. But yet he still is humble. He still does not react to his own people who try to throw shade at him. So I'm going to settle on your best part. First, brother, young Pharaoh, you are a very intelligent brother. You are a, it looks like you do some research, right? You do some studying. So I always want to settle on the best part of you, brother. And I know that there's great potential in you. I know that there's great scholarship in you, but all scholarship, all knowledge, all wisdom must be rooted in character and undergird by character. We have a saying in the nation of Islam, brother, where we, we try to settle on the best part of each other. So for you to dig up and into Riza, Riza Islam's past and not focus on his present, whether it's true or not, I really don't care. <laughs> That's how we function in the nation. That's like me, brother, looking into Malcolm, Malcolm X's past. Him being a pimp. Him being a hustler. Them calling him Satan in prison. And focusing on that and not looking at the great works that our brother did. Once he came into the knowledge of himself. That's what we focus on. What are people doing after they come into the knowledge of themselves? Are they exemplifying their past activity? Because see, once they're exemplifying their past activity, once they come into an elevated state of mind, an elevated consciousness, then we want to toss that rotten apple out from among us. Brother Pharaoh. So what is Riza Islam doing now? I don't care about his past. In fact, what we should do, brother, and all honestly, if we are true leaders, if we are true brothers that are trying to elevate and be good examples, we will bring up our own past to use our own past as teaching tools of where we have come from by the grace of our creator because none of us are so holy and righteous none of us are so perfect that we got where we are today by ourselves it's our, it's our teachers that have helped to guide us to elevate us the wisdom you have brother Pharaoh you didn't get it by yourself you went and you studied from somebody. So just that alone should give us a certain degree of humility about ourselves. Brother Pharaoh, none of us, as the minister said, have fell out of heaven, brother. I remember myself 
when I used to shoot dice, I was never one to smoke or drink, but I used to shoot dice. But once I started to fall in love with my people, I remember my last time shooting dice, I took all my friends' money, right? I Pockets on point, <laughs> on swole. I gave a brother back his money, man. And I never did it from that point on. So I'm saying that to say this, brother, we use our past as examples of where we came from, man, that we're not better than each other. The scripture says all of our righteousness is like unto filthy rags, brother Pharaoh. So let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And if our brother or if I am not or anybody in the nation is not currently doing what we were doing before we came into the knowledge of ourselves, then hold us to that, chief. You mentioned Dianetics or, or Scientology. Brother, because L. Ron Hubbard produced Scientology and we go and study a portion or a piece of Scientology called Dianetics and we have utilized that tool to help women who have been raped people who have been molested, people who have been severely injured, we have helped them to overcome that pain that has been blocking them from manifesting their highest degree of potential. People have confronted those situations and dealt with them and overcame it. So what I'm saying is, brother, that's a tool. Just like we use YouTube, just like we use Google, you go, for instance, you go to school, if you have been to school, you don't go into the history of your professor, you go there to get a certain knowledge to help elevate you to the next phase of your life. We not on YouTube looking into the background of the creators of the CEOs, the investors of YouTube. No, we're using it as a tool to get our people to wake up. That's really what it's about at the end of the day. It's bigger than all us, Brother Pharaoh. It's about our people, man. And really a lot of brothers, we just on here fighting because it brings clicks, it brings money. That's really what it's about. When if we were true brothers, we would get off the internet and I had to put this out on the internet, brother, because you put it out on the internet. But we should always try to connect with each other via phone, via the person, in person, so it doesn't seem like we're out for the limelight, we're out for clout, we're out for clicks. It doesn't display age and activity, brother. So let us all, no matter how much knowledge we think we got, because it's not knowledge that we should admire alone, it's principles, it's morality, it's character, it's integrity that's gonna make our communities better. It's doing what Nipsey Hussle did is going to make our communities better. He didn't have all of the knowledge in the world. He had a few books by Elijah Muhammad. Message to the black man how to eat to live. But he was a brother that was out giving to the people. He was serving the people. That's the highest degree of honor that we could receive. As the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, not how many YouTube views we got. How many clicks we got, how much money we got, it's all about service. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.